The structure of a cell nucleus consists of a nuclear membrane, nuclear envelope, nucleoplasm, nucleolus, and chromosomes. Nucleoplasm, also known as karyoplasm, is the matrix present inside the nucleus. Nuclear membrane It is a double membrane structure each 5 to 10 nanometers thick. Numerous pores occur in the envelope, allowing RNA and other chemicals to pass, but not the DNA. Because the nuclear membrane is impermeable to most molecules, nuclear pores are required to allow movement of molecules across the envelope. These pores cross both of the membranes, providing a channel that allows free movement of small molecules and ions. The movement of larger molecules such as protein requires active transport regulated by carrier proteins. The nuclear envelope, or paranuclear cisterna, encloses the DNA and defines the nuclear compartment of interphase and prophase nuclei. The spherical inner nuclear membrane contains specific proteins that act as binding sites for the supporting fibrous sheath of intermediate filaments, if, called nuclear lamina. Nuclear lamina has contact with the chromatin, or chromosomes, and nuclear RNAs. The inner nuclear membrane is surrounded by the outer nuclear membrane, which closely resembles the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum that is continuous with it. Like the membrane of the rough ER, the outer surface of outer nuclear membrane is generally with ribosomes engaged in protein synthesis. The proteins made on these ribosomes are transported into space between the inner and outer nuclear membrane, called paranuclear space. The paranuclear space is a 10 to 50 nanometers wide fluid-filled compartment which is continuous with the ER lumen and may contain fibers, crystalline deposits, lipid droplets or electron-dense material. Nuclear pores and nucleocytoplasmic traffic the nuclear envelope in all eukaryotic forms, from yeast to humans, is perforated by nuclear pores which have the following structure and function. Nucleoplasm The space between the nuclear envelope and the nucleolus is filled by a transparent, semi-solid, granular and slightly acidophilic ground substance or the matrix known as the nuclear sap or nucleoplasm or karyolymph. The nuclear components such as the chromatin threads and the nucleolus remain suspended in the nucleoplasm which is composed mainly of nucleoproteins but it also contains other inorganic and organic substances, namely nucleic acids, proteins, enzymes and minerals. The most common nucleic acids of the nucleoplasm are the DNA and RNA. The nucleoplasm contains many types of complex proteins categorized into I. Basic proteins. The proteins which take basic stain are known as the basic proteins. The most important basic proteins of the nucleus are nucleoproteins and the nucleohistones. 2. Non-histone or acidic proteins. The acidic proteins either occur in the nucleoplasm or in the chromatin. The most abundant acidic proteins euchromatin, a type of chromatin, is the phosphoproteins. The nucleoplasm contains many enzymes which are necessary for the synthesis of the DNA and RNA. Most of the nuclear enzymes are composed of non-histone, acidic, proteins. The most important nuclear enzymes are the DNA polymerase, RNA polymerase, NAD synthetase, nucleoside triphosphatase, adenosine diaminase, nucleoside phosphorylase, guanus, aldolase, analase, 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde dehydrogenase and pyruvate kinase. The nucleoplasm also contains certain cofactors and coenzymes such as ATP and acetyl-CoA. The nucleoplasm has small lipid content. The nucleoplasm also contains several inorganic compounds such as phosphorus, potassium, sodium, calcium and magnesium. 
the chromatin comparatively contains large amount of these minerals than the nucleoplasm. The nucleoplasm contains many thread-like, coiled and much elongated structures which take readily the basic stain such as the basic fuchsin. These thread-like structures are known as the chromatin, chrome equals color, substance or chromatin fibers. Nucleolus Most cells contain in their nuclei one or more prominent spherical colloidal acidophilic bodies, called nucleoli. However, cells of bacteria and yeast lack nucleolus. The nucleolus is mainly involved in the assembly of ribosomes. After being produced in the nucleolus, ribosomes are exported to the cytoplasm where they translate mRNA. Some of the eukaryotic organisms have nucleus that contains up to four nucleoli. The nucleolus plays an indirect role in protein synthesis by producing ribosomes. Nucleolus disappears when a cell undergoes division and is reformed after the completion of cell division. The size of the nucleolus is found to be related with the synthetic activity of the cell. Therefore, the cells with little or no synthetic activities, sperm cells, blastomeres, muscle cell, etc., are found to contain smaller or no nucleoli, while the oocytes, neurons and secretory cells which synthesize the proteins or other substances contain comparatively large-sized nucleoli. The number of the nucleoli in the nucleus depends on the species and the number of the chromosomes. The number of the nucleoli in the cells may be 1, 2 or 4. A nucleolus is often associated with a nuclear organizer, NO, which represents the secondary constriction of the nuclear organizing chromosomes, and are 10 in number in human beings. Nuclear organizer consists of the genes for 18S, 5.8S and 28S RNAs. The genes for fourth type of our RNA, i.e., 5S RNA occur outside the nuclear organizer. Nucleolus is not bounded by any limiting membrane, calcium ions are supposed to maintain its intact organization. Nucleolus also contains some enzymes such as acid phosphatase, nucleoside phosphorylase and NAD plus synthesizing enzymes for the synthesis of some coenzymes, nucleotides and ribosomal RNA. RNA methylase enzyme which transfers methyl groups to the nitrogen bases occurs in the nucleolus of some cells. Functionally nucleolus is the site where biogenesis of ribosomal subunits, 40S and 60S, takes place. <laughs>